heard of unfailing love numbers chapter 6 and the lord spoke to moses saying speak to the people of israel and say to them when either a man or a woman makes a special vow the vow of a nazirite to separate himself to the lord he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink he shall drink no vinegar made from wine or strong drink and shall not drink any juice of grapes or eat grapes fresh or dried all the days of his separation he shall eat nothing that is produced by the grape wine not even the seeds or the skins all the days of his vow of separation no razor shall touch his head until the time is completed for which he separates himself to the lord he shall be holy he shall let the locks of hair of his head grow long all the days that he separates himself to the lord he shall not go near a dead body not even for his father or for his mother for his for brother or sister if they die shall he make himself unclean because his separation to god is on his head all the days of his separation he is holy to the lord and if any man dies very suddenly beside him and he defiles his consecrated head then he shall shave his head on the day of his cleansing on the seventh day he shall shave it on the eighth day he shall bring two turtle doves or two pigeons to the priest to the entrance of the tent of meeting and the priest shall offer one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering and make atonement for him because he sinned by reason of the dead body and he shall consecrate his head that same day and separate himself to the lord for the days of his separation and bring a male lamb a year old for a guilt offering but the previous period shall be void because his separation was defiled and this is the law for the nazarite when the time of his separation has been completed he shall be brought to the entrance of the tent of meeting and he shall bring his gift to the lord one male lamb a year old without blemish for a burnt offering and one eve lamb a year old without blemish as a sin offering and one ram without blemish as a peace offering and a basket of unleavened bread loaves of fine flour mixed with oil and unleavened wafers smeared with oil and their grain offering and their drink offerings and the priest shall bring them before the lord and offer his sin offering and his burnt offering and he shall offer the ram as a sacrifice of peace offering to the lord with the basket of unleavened bread with the basket of unleavened bread the priest shall offer also its grain offering and its drink offering and the nazirite shall shave his consecrated head at the entrance of the tent of meeting and shall take the hair from his consecrated head and put it on the fire that is under the sacrifice of the peace offering and the priest shall take the shoulder of the ram when it is boiled and one unleavened loaf out of the basket and one unleavened wafer and shall put them on the hands of the nazirite 
after he has shaved the hair of his consecration and the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the lord they are a holy portion for the priest together with the breast that is waved and the tie that is contributed and after that the nazarite may drink wine this is the law of the nazarite but if he vows an offering to the lord about his nazarite or as he can afford in exact accordance with the vow that he takes then he shall do in addition to the law of the nazarite the lord spoke to moses saying speak to aaron and his sons saying thus you shall bless the people of israel you shall say to them the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace so shall they put my name upon the people of israel and i will bless them numbers chapter 7 On the day when Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle and had anointed and consecrated it with all its furnishings and had anointed and consecrated the altar with all its utensils the chiefs of Israel heads of their fathers houses who were the chiefs of the tribes who were over those who were listed approached and brought their offerings before the Lord six wagons and Twelve oxen, a wagon for every two of the chiefs, and for each one an ox. They brought them before the tabernacle. Then the Lord said to Moses, "Accept these from them, that they may be used in the service of the tent of meeting, and give them to the Levites, to each man according to his service." So Moses took the wagons and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. Two wagons and four oxen. he gave to the sons of gershon according to their service and four wagons and eight oxen he gave to the sons of merari according to their service under the direction of ethamar the son of aaron the priest but to the sons of kohath he gave none because they were charged with the service of the holy things that had to be carried on the shoulder and the chiefs offered offerings for the dedication of the altar on the day it was anointed and the chiefs offered their offering before the altar and the lord said to moses they shall offer their offerings one chief each day for the dedication of the altar he who offered his offering on the first day was nashon the son of aminadab of the tribe of juda and his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense one bull from the herd one ram one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering and for the sacrifice of peace offerings two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old this was the offering of nashon the son of aminadab on the second day nathanael the son of juar the chief of issachar made an offering he offered for his offering one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense one bull from the herd one ram one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering and for the sacrifice of peace offerings two oxen five rams five male goats and five male lambs a year old This was the offering of Nathanael the son of Juar. On the third day Eliab the son of Helon the chief of the people of Jebulun his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 
130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elizur, the son of Shedeur, the chief of the people of Reuben, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Elizur, the son of Shed Shedeur. Elizur, the son of Shedeur. On the fifth day, Shelumael, the son of Jerushaddai, the chief of the people of Simeon. His offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two ox, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Shelumiel, the son of Jurishaddai. On the sixth day, Eliasaf, the son of Deuel, the chief of the people of God, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Eliasaf, the son of Deuel. On the seventh day, Elishama, the son of Amihud, the chief of the people of Ephraim, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Elishama, the son of Amihud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, the son of Padajur, the chief of the people of Manasseh, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Gamaliel, the son of Pedajur. On the ninth day, Abidan, the son of Gideoni, 
the chief of the people of Benjamin, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Abidan, the son of Gideoni. On the tenth day, Ahiezer, the son of Amishadai, the chief of the people of Dan, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of ten shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Ahazer, the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pagiel, the son of Okran, the chief of the people of Asher, the offering, his offering, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Pagiel, the son of Okran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, the son of Enan, the chief of the people of Naphtali, his offering was one silver plate whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver basin of 70 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one golden dish of 10 shekels full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Enan. This was the dedication offering for the altar on the day when it was anointed from the chiefs of Israel, twelve silver plates, twelve silver basins, twelve golden dishes, each silver plate weighing 130 shekels, and each basin 70, all the silver of the vessels 2,400 2, shekels, 2,400 shekels according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The 12 golden dishes full of incense weighing 10 shekels apiece according to the shekel of the sanctuary, all the gold of the dishes being 120 shekels, all the cattle for the burnt offering, 12 bulls, 12 rams, 12 male lambs a year old with their grain offering, and 12 male goats for a sin offering, and all the cattle for the sacrifice of peace offerings, 24 bulls, the rams 60, the male goats 60, the male lambs a year old 60. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. And when Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony from between the two cherubim, and it spoke to him. Numbers chapter 8 now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and say to him, 
speak to Aaron and say to him, When you set up the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light in front of the lamp stand. And Aaron did so. He set up its lamps in front of the lamp stand as the Lord commanded Moses. And this was the workmanship of the lamp stand, hammered work of gold from its base to its flowers. It was hammered work according to the pattern that the Lord had shown Moses. So he made the lamp stand and the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Take the Levites from among the people of Israel and cleanse them. Thus you shall do to them to cleanse them. Sprinkle the water of purification upon them and let them go with a razor over all their body and wash their clothes and cleanse themselves. Then let them take a bull from the herd and its grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil and you shall take another bull from the herd for a sin offering. And you shall bring the Levites before the tent of meeting and assemble the whole congregation of the people of Israel. When you bring the Levites before the Lord, the people of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites. And Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord as a wave offering from the people of Israel that they may do the service of the Lord. Then the Levites shall lay their hands on the heads of the bulls and you shall offer one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering to the Lord to make atonement for the Levites to make atonement for the Levites and you shall set the Levites before Aaron and his sons and shall offer them as a wave offering to the Lord. Thus you shall separate the Levites from among the people of Israel and the Levites shall be mine and after that the Levites shall go into serve at the tent of meeting when you have cleansed them and offered them as a wave offering for they are wholly given to me from among the people of Israel. Instead of all who open the womb, the firstborn of all the people of Israel, I have taken them for myself. For all the firstborn among the people of Israel are mine, both of man and of beast. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I consecrated them for myself, and I have taken the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the people of Israel. And I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and his sons from among the people of Israel. I do to do the service for the people of Israel at the tent of meeting and to make atonement for the people of Israel that there may be no plague among the people of Israel when the people of Israel come near the sanctuary. Thus did Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the people of Israel to the Levites, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites. The people of Israel did to them, and the Levites purified themselves from sin and washed their clothes, and Aaron offered them as a wave offering before the Lord and Aaron made atonement for them to cleanse them and after that the Levites went in to do their service in the tent of meeting before Aaron and his sons as the Lord had commanded Moses concerning the Levites so they did to them and the Lord spoke to Moses saying this applies to the Levites from 25 years old and upwards, they shall come to do duty in the service of the tent of meeting, and from the age of 50 years they shall withdraw from the duty of the service and serve no more. They minister to their brothers in the tent of meeting by keeping guard, but they shall do no service. Thus shall you do to the Levites in assigning their duties. Numbers chapter 9 And the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the first month of the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, 
let the people of Israel keep the Passover at its appointed time on the 14th day of this month at twilight you shall keep it at its appointed time according to all its statutes according to all its statutes and all its rules you shall keep it so moses told the people of israel that they should keep the passover and they kept the passover in the first month on the 14th day of the month at twilight in the wilderness of sinai according to all that the lord commanded moses so the people of israel did and they kept the passover in the first month on the 14th day of the month at twilight in the wilderness of sinai according to all that the lord commanded moses so the people of israel did and there were certain men who were unclean through touching a dead body so that they could not keep the passover on that day and they came before moses and aaron on that day and those men said to him we are unclean through touching a dead body why are we kept from bringing the lord's offering at its appointed time among the people of israel and moses said to them wait that I may hear what the Lord will command concerning you. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the people of Israel saying, If any one of you or of your descendants is unclean through touching a dead body or is on a long journey, he shall still keep the Passover to the Lord. In the second month on the fourteenth day at twilight they shall keep it. they shall eat with unleavened bread and bitter herbs they shall leave none of it until the morning nor break any of its bones according to all the statute for the passover they shall keep it but if any one who is clean and is not on a journey fails to keep the passover that person shall be cut off from his people because he did not bring the lord's offering at its appointed time that man shall bear his sin and if a stranger sojourns among you and would keep the passover to the lord according to the statute of the passover and according to its rule so shall he do you shall have one statute both for the sojourner both for the sojourner and for the native on the day that the tabernacle was set up the cloud covered the tabernacle the tent of the testimony and at evening it was over the tabernacle like the appearance of fire until morning so it was always the cloud covered it by day and the appearance of fire by night and whenever the cloud lifted from over the tent after that the people of israel set out and in the place where the cloud settled down there the people of israel camped at the command of the lord the people of israel set out and at the command of the lord they camped at the command of the lord the people of israel set out and at the command of the lord they camped as long as the cloud rested over the tabernacle they remained in camp even when the cloud continued over the tabernacle for many days the people of israel kept the charge of the lord and did not set out sometimes the cloud would remain for a few days over the tabernacle and according to the command of the lord they remained in camp then according to the command of the lord they set out and sometimes the cloud remained from the and sometimes the cloud remained from evening until morning and when the cloud lifted in the morning they set out or if it continued for a day and a night when the cloud lifted they set out whether it was two days or a month or a longer time that the cloud continued over the tabernacle abiding there the people of israel remained in camp and did not set out but when it lifted they set out at the command of the lord they camped and at the command of the lord they set out they kept 
the charge of the lord at the command of the lord by moses numbers chapter 10 the lord spoke to moses saying make two silver trumpets of hammered work you shall make them and you shall use them for summoning the congregation and for breaking camp and when both are blown all the congregation shall gather themselves to you at the entrance of the tent of meeting but if they blow only one then the chiefs the heads of the tribes of israel shall gather themselves to you when you blow an alarm the camps that are on the east side shall set out and when you blow an alarm the second time the camps that are on the south side shall set out an alarm is to be blown whenever they are to set out but when the assembly is to be gathered together you shall blow a long blast but you shall not sound an alarm and the sons of aaron the priests shall blow the trumpets the trumpets shall be to you for a perpetual statute throughout your generations and when you go to war in your land against the adversary who oppresses you then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets that you may be remembered before the lord your god and you shall be saved from your enemies on the day of your gladness also and at your appointed feast and at the beginning of your months you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings they shall be a reminder of you before your god i am the lord your god in the second year in the second month on the 20th day of the month the cloud lifted from over the tabernacle of the testimony and the people of israel set out by stages from the wilderness of sinai and the cloud settled down in the wilderness of paran they set out for the first time at the command of the lord by moses the standard of the camp of the people of juda set out first by their companies and or their company was nashon the son of aminada and or the company of the tribe of the people of issachar was nathanael the son of juar and or the company of the tribe of the people of jebulun the jebulun was eliab the son of helon and when the tabernacle was taken down the sons of gershon and the sons of merari who carried the tabernacle set out and the standard of the camp of ruben set out by their companies and or their company was elizur the son of shedeur and or the company of the tribe of the people of simeon was shelumiel the son of jerushaddai and or the company of the tribe of the people of gad was eliasaf the son of deuel then the kohathites set out carrying the holy things and the tabernacle was set up before their arrival and the standard of the camp of the people of ephraim set out by their companies and or their company was elishama the son of amihud and or the company of the tribe of the people of manashe was gamaliel the son of pedajur and or the company of the tribe of the people of benjamin was abidan the son of gideoni then the standard of the camp of the people of dan acting as the rear guard of all the camps set out by their companies and over their company was ahiezer the son of amishadai and over the company of the tribe of the people of asher was pagiel the son of okran and over the company of the tribe of the people of naphtali was ahira the son of enan this was the order of march of the people of israel by their companies when they set out
and Moses said to Hobab the son of Reuel the Midianite Moses father in law we are sitting out for the place of which the lord said i will give i will give it to you come with us and we will do good to you for the lord has promised good to israel and moses said to hobab the son of reuel the midianite moses father in law we are sitting out for the place of which the lord said i will give it to you come with us and we will do good to you for the lord has promised good to israel but he said to him i will not go i will depart to my own land and to my kindred and he said please do not leave us for you know where we should camp in the wilderness and you will serve as ice for us and if you do go with us whatever good the lord will do to us the same will we do to you so they set out from the mount of the lord for 3 days journey and the ark of the covenant of the lord went before them for 3 days journey to seek out a resting place for them and the cloud of the lord was over them by day whenever they set out from the camp and whenever the ark set out moses said arise o lord and let your enemies be scattered and let those who hate you flee before you and when it rested he said return o lord to the 10000 thousands of israel